supposedly there was a freaking UFO crash in Washington D.C. Really? Like it was like this, right? So there was there was report people. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy. There was reports from four different states that people seen like something fiery going through the skies in North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, and I think South Jersey too. Like something went to the skies and like where the crash site was, some people heard like a big thud. Mm. And they and then suddenly there was like a bunch of cop cars rushed to the area, like secret service vans. And like if you look on there, like you know how they have like you can look up like um uh what's that flight patterns and stuff. So like all the airplanes were 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 um they weren't flying. They they were all parked. But you could see that there was a helicopter circling around where the crash site supposedly was and nobody knows what it was. And nobody has said nothing. Like people have called the police asking what the hell was that that I see in the sky. Like, people have ring cameras of like something fiery coming like through the sky or whatever. And like somebody said that there was a there was a um a Carolina Panthers game and they they made a video like yo it's not a UFO. It's just like you know like the the jets that fly over like stadiums mm -hmm. like when it's like a game. Mm -hmm. It was like the jets, but it's like how the hell they see that in Maryland. Mm. So it's like I don't know. But also recently there was a guy that worked for the Pentagon that came to Congress and he told Congress that they had have, have a program where they retrieve and are like back engineering UFOs and the program is called um it's called what's this shit called? I have I read it down on my phone. It's like Immaculate Constellation. So it's basically something where say like a UFO crash somewhere they go out there and they retrieve it and they try to make their own. Right. And they were saying like the whole time, like, I guess Congress was trying to say like, why didn't you tell us in the first place? But they thought that they were going to, you know, mess things up. Right. Because they're saying like aliens are here, but they're not, they didn't come from out of space. They're like somewhere else on the planet. Mm. Either it's in the water, in Antarctica, underground. So it's like, but I feel like as though, like every, every day I think about it, the more I think, like, I don't think we're ever going to see aliens in our lifetime. Because In our lifetime? Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm with you. Because the only reason why I don't think so is because the only way we see it is if it's, like, an alien invasion where they're killing us. Right. They're not going to come down because that's gonna, we're going to look at the government and be like, why didn't you tell us this in the first place? Right. Point? It's going to cause mayhem. And it's like, you hid this from us. Right. This big, like, we're thinking we're at the top of the food chain, but really these people are higher than us. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you knew this whole time. What else are you hiding that we don't know? Oh, yeah. I mean, there there's people who literally... I don't know if you know the guy who uh, went to Joe Rogan podcast. Mm -hmm. He talked about... He used to... Like, some super smart dude. He, he used to work for Area 51. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally was working on fucking UFOs and shit mm -hmm. like that. Shit that's not in this world. Like, yeah. He's, he's, he, and he's been telling people about it, but, like, you know, people... Don't always him. brush them off. Yeah, like, I think it's like, uh, Bob Lazar, right? Bob Lazar, Bob yep, Lazar. yep, yep, yep. That's what I'm saying. It's like we might not see aliens, but it might. We might start to see aircrafts that look like UFOs. But we say like like Tesla's like Elon Musk will come out with it. Like yeah, I got a new plane that mm. looks like this. It's silent, but it mm. looks like a freaking flying saucer. Like it's like a new flying car, but you can like it's literally like a looks like a freaking UFO. Whatever. UFO, yeah. And it's like. Maybe these crash UFOs or whatever are just them testing it out and they're not trying to, like, scare the people. Right. And it's, them, it's like Americans or, like, uh, humans that's test flying it or whatever. Right. But I just don't... I don't know. I just seen it on TikTok and I've seen a lot of people talking about it and it's not like the... It's not really... It's It was on the news. The, the, the guy that came out talking about the program was on the news. But the whole... Crash landing wasn't on the news. So people are comparing this to what happened in Miami, bro. That whole alien thing that happened in Miami. Oh, really? Yeah. So but I don't know. It's because I'm, it's not getting any, any, any like air, any airtime and shit. Hey, I people, I, I haven't seen nothing in my life. There could be something out there. I don't, I'm not looking past. I don't think we're the smartest beings in the universe, but the day I see an alien is the day y'all people going to hear it. I might not be here though. They going to freaking cook my ass. They gonna cook you. They gonna they gonna abduct my abduct my ass, bro. Nah, it's tough. I don't bro. think you're worth abducting, though. That's crazy. Not trying to be rude. What does that have because, to be? Because uh, what, like, <laughs> what what are you gonna do? Like, what are you, how are you gonna help them? Like, what why are they abducting you? I think I'm pretty valuable. All right. As how? a human being, first of all, 
I'm two races. I'm already one of them. You're what? Oh, oh. <laughs> you, you, th- I thought he said you're too racist. <laughs> no. I'm like, wait, what? I have two race, like two nationalities in me. So I'm already different. <sighs> I'm already different. Are you that different, though? Yeah, I'm pretty different. There's so, a lot. Nah. Okay, keep going. Nah, nah, <laughs> All right, keep going. Not like me. All right, keep going. I think they would go for, like, the smart motherfuckers. Like, what are you no, trying to say? Well, you're smart as hell, too, but you're not a genius there. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you, there, oh, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a genius. You know what's crazy? They're going, though? what? That they, they actually abduct people that are, like, from third world countries or that are, like, freaking, like, the, the one person that got abducted that was on Joe Rogan podcast, I forgot what his name was. His name oh, was yeah, that, Travis something. Okay, and, okay. He was, like, a construction worker uh, wait was it when with those uh when he was with his friends and shit yes. like that yes that was. yeah that's weird <laughs> but, but, but that's weird i feel like hey for the aliens out there if y'all watching get the mark zuckerbergs if y'all want to do you know some real some real you know pain cause some real pain get the mark zuckerbergs at the elon Musk. get the uh joe jeff bezos get the Bro, i'm saying them people might be the aliens low key oh shit I didn't think about that one. They might be. They might be one of them. think about it. They're really controlling. Ev- Bro, Jeff Bezos controls everything we buy. No, nah, literally. Elon Musk is creating the future. No, nah, literally. And Mark Zuckerberg. Bro, Mark Zuckerberg is controlling the internet. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> just had a realization. I just had a realization. Because they might be the aliens. No, nah, they really are. That's OD. And they act weird as hell all the time. I know. Look at them. They, it just, look, they, they look like they don't blink. They look like they don't blink, bro. Be like, it's so weird, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it, like they all have like the thousand yard stare. You yeah. know that they do. Especially oh, Jeff probably. Bezos Especially and uh, Mark Gabe. Zuckerberg. I swear. They both look alike. Yeah. One, just one has hair. I know. They it's look crazy. Like, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. They, they're Them three are honestly the ones controlling the world. Mark, Z- I mean, Elon Musk is controlling the future of the world. Literally. <laughs> but Mark bro. Zuckerberg got Instagram. Oh, well, Elon Musk got Twitter now. I don't know. I think he's trying to. I think he's trying to finesse TikTok from that Asian dude. Really? He, uh, yeah, I think he's the one that's like influencing like the government to like ban it, so like he can force them to sell it to them. Mm. So like, I don't know, bro. And then you got freaking Jeff Bezos. Literally, you can buy anything on Amazon. You know, you can buy a crib on Amazon. All right, wait. Like a tiny house, like a little tiny home. Oh yeah, I've seen that. What the hell is it's that? It's insane. Like, come on, bro. And it can't. Uh, how you go? F- that's bullshit. I don't, I don't, I don't believe that a bookstore starting as a book star, book company became that. Oh yeah, they was just selling books, right? They was literally like on the Kindle, a book, literally, bro. <laughs> like selling little book. Like Amazon be, was supposed to be like a bookstore company, like books, like Barnes and Nobles. Literally, Barnes and Nobles became that. Od, that, that's insane, bro. Od, that's insane. Uh, I don't then know. now you can sell houses, in 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 Amazon. That won't even make no sense. It was all planned out, bro. Nah, it was, that's insane. It was all planned out, bro. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it.